Assalamu alaikum, this is Alson Muslimimun and in this video I am going to demonstrate my course project of web technology and the project title is Unused Medicine Donation Management System. So the main idea behind this project is you know there are many medicine left in our house that we don't need to take anymore and we throw those medicine in the dustbin but without doing that we can make use of those unused medicine and how we can do that we can do that by donating the poor people those who are not able to buy medicine and in this project i am using uh, PHP as programming language you know PHP is a server scripting language and a powerful tool for making dynamic and interactive web pages PHP is a widely used free and effective alternative to competitors such as microsoft PHP and i am also using javascript which is often shortened to JS. It is a lightweight interpreted object oriented language with first class functions and is best known as the scripting language for web pages. But it's used in many non browser environments as well. It is prototype based multi paradigm scripting language that is dynamic and supports object oriented, imperative, and functional programming styles. JavaScript runs on the client side of the OF which can be used to design or program how the web pages behaves on the occurrence of an event. JavaScript is an easy to learn and also powerful scripting language, widely used for controlling web page behaviors. And I am also using some libraries and tools of JavaScript such as jQuery Ajax. Uh, so J you know jQuery is a JavaScript library designed to simplify HTML DOM tree traversal and manipulation as well as even handling CSS animations and Ajax is a set of web development techniques using many web technologies on the client side to create asynchronous web applications with Ajax web applications can send and retrieve data from the server asynchronously without interfacing with the display and behavior of the existing page and uh, I am also using the JSON you know it stands for uh, JavaScript uh, JavaScript object notation is a lightweight uh, data interchange format. It is easy for humans to read and write. It is easy for machines to parse and generate. It is based on a subset of the JavaScript program language. So for storing my data, I am uh, using the MySQL database and for activating the uh, MySQL, I am using Jam. You know Jam is a free and open source course platform web server. And MySQL is open source relational database management system. So now without waiting further ado, let's get started. So in this project, there are mainly four types of user: admin, donor, uh, receiver, and delivery man. And if donor and receivers are new, they can create their uh, account by going to this uh, registration page and just filling up this information. And they have to choose this uh, user type also. And if they just press in this uh, sign up, their account will be created as new user. So I don't want to create an account now. Uh, I want to first log in as an admin. So to do that, I have to type my username and the password. So as the username and I'm typing the password. And if I press sign in, you can see this is the main dashboard for admin and these are the medicine categories um, that you can uh, view from here and uh, if you want to learn about more about these categories suppose i want to learn more about this antibody then i have to just click this read more it will take me to the wikipedia uh, and i can read that documentation about antibiotic in the wikipedia so next is if i click this check now it will take me this window and here i can see all the antibiotic medicines that are available in the database and i also can search here by the keyword uh, suppose uh, i want to search geodon geodon uh, here you can see this is the level. and here are also some filtering criteria I uh, suppose I also can search it by choosing here the medicine names or brands or I also can select the number of rows that will appear here suppose I want to see seven 
but actually total medicine are uh, uh, six so six row will appear if there's row you can see six medicines are available and i also can sort them by date or name and if you press view all all the antibiotic medicines will appear so uh, same goes for other these categories and if i press this account section i can see my details or admin can see his details about the account information and next here is the inside update delete or card operation if admin wants to add any new medicine he just has to press this insert button and this page will appear and he has to just press this add medicine and type the medicine name suppose for testing purpose and to add a test medicine test met and I have to choose the expert date of the medicine then the category uh, and to add, is, add this in the antibiotic then the best ID uh, test 001 then the brand name suppose it's on uh, SKF and if I press just add you can see messages appear and that medicine added successfully so if i want to update that medicine i press this update button and uh, if i just search test you can see test met two test met actually i have added this one right now so if you press this edit see all the interactions appeared here uh, suppose i want to change it 001 to t003 if i press update you can see medicine update successfully and if i press view all you can see here the test met t003 and if i want to delete any medicine i have to just click the delete button and if i press add delete this medicine will disappear anyway here you can see the other buttons uh, such as order list or delivery but uh, i want to first log in as a donor or receiver i want to request some uh, medicine then i will show you this buttons work so i am going to log out uh, from this admin domain so now i want to log in as uh, donor then i have to type the username and the password and if you press sign in as the dashboard for donor and if i want to donate any medicine then i have to choose the category because i want to donate any antibiotic then i have to just press this donate here then i can choose the medicine from here also if the medicine is not available here then i can also type here the medicine name for the donation so and to donate many test donate and i have to choose the uh, date expired date then the best id then the brand and the quantity that how much i want to donate suppose i want to donate uh, 150 and the pickup location uh, from where the delivery will pick up the medicine cushion and if i press this donate you can see medicine donation successfully and uh, i want to see the donation list so i click on here and you can see here is the test donate and all the information this is actually the details information about the donor and if i want to cancel any donation then i have to click this cancel donation and i can cancel multiple donations at a time if i click this one and select this one and if i click this cancel button these two will disappear and the donation will cancel so but i don't want to do that now so now i want to log in as an admin and to check uh, 
the donation list and see if I press this donation list you can see I will test donation and if I want to send a delivery boy to pick up that medicine I have to click this uh, send to donor and uh, if I press this assign a delivery man is selected according to our location so if I just press this assign button you can see that it's assigned successfully and this time I want to log in as an delivery man so I am typing the delivery man is already that is uh, the name and the password and if I press sign in as you can see this is uh, this is the medicine and that I have assigned a few moments ago and after picking up the medicine successfully then the delivery boy will press this delivery done and you can see delivery done successfully and the medicine is gone and here the delivery man also can see his account and the delivery history also so this time I am going to log in as an admin again and uh, if I go to the uh, center donor and if I check the status as you can see as the test donor medicine that the delivery by delivery successfully so if I click this add to inventory it will add to the inventory table in the database and those medicine only can see the receiver or the poor guys those don't have uh, enough money to buy new medicines so if i just press this add to inventory you can see uh, the medicine disappear from here and if i check the inventory from here you can see if i uh, if i want to choose or here you can see here is the medicine name or I can also choose by the category name antibiotic and if I press search you can see here is the test donate medicine I also can edit here this medicine also or remove this medicine from here also now I want to log in as an receiver so there is the username and I am pressing the password and sign in and uh this is the main dashboard for receiver and if we press this request now here you can see here is our medicine test right and if i press this request it will come up with all the information of that particular medicine here and i want to request uh 50 medicines 50 medicines out of 150 and i have to press the uh, location delivery location so suppose it's uh, done Monday and if I press this send request button as you can see receiver user don't select uh, more than 20 at a time so I am going to choose 15 and if I press send request you can see requests and success here decreases the number if i want a medicine that is not available in this list then i have to press this not exist and here i also can type that medicine and also i can send the request for the medicine uh, if that medicine is available then they can notify us so here is the account and the request list i can see here the request list here there is the request list that I have because I have removed ago and here you can see all the details about that medicine there is the quantity and remaining days to be expired suppose I want to cancel my uh, any of my already successfully sent request then I have to press this cancel request button and this will take me to this window and if I press this cancel, medicine request will cancel. Suppose I have to cancel this one. I have to just press this cancel. You can see this medicine disappear. Now I am going to log in as an admin. So typing the username and password, and if I press sign in, here is the admin page. And now and to 
send a delivery boy with medicine to the receiver so here is all the request from receiver and if I press this assign uh, you can see a delivery boy is chosen according to the location and if I just press assign I can see delivery boy assigned successfully now I want to log in as a delivery boy so it's not fish or shiny and if uh, I have to type the password and if I press sign in here you can see this is the delivery request and uh, that I have met a few moments ago after uh, donating that medicine the delivery man will just have to press this uh, deliver done and you can see delivery done successfully and that uh, has added in this uh, delivery history as you can see done and all the information about that particular uh, medicine and now I want to see as an uh, admin that is that delivery is posing or delivery is done or not so as you can see I am going to the send to receiver and if I check the status and if you click the next you see test donation is donated successfully and that's it hope you enjoy it and thanks for listening with great patience thank you